fellow collectors, today we're going to be talking about Turtles of Grayskull, Shredder, the evil master of ninjutsu. Now this is a mashup of Masters of the Universe and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Here we see Skeletor and Shredder. Here we have Shredder in a Masters of the Universe style armor. So on the back we'll see Shredder fighting Splinter. I hope we get Splinter soon. As I pull in closer, we see a little bio about Shredder and the figures in the lineup. So if I bring in my scale, I see that uh, Shredder comes in right at 7.2 ounces. So let's get him off the scale and out of the package. Okay, now that we have him out of the package, we can look at his accessories. I have instructions. The instructions show once again that every part of Shredder can be removed. Should be just the armor can be removed. Now, one thing I've noticed right out of the package this guy likes to fall over the peg holes should be more in the middle they are in the very back so it leads to the figure falling over so you definitely have to maneuver the stand to where he's actually standing and gets a little bit of resistance for that but now as far as the other accessories we see that also the glue or something of the package stuck to the mini comic. Now, I don't know if this happened to everyone, but it also bled through to the comic book. Now, I still have the same comic book from Raphael, but this one is pretty much ruined. We see that Shredder also comes with this He-Man Masters of the Universe style weapon. We've seen it before. With like the horde troopers just simply claps on to his wrist and shredder also comes with this nice axe and we see the foot clan logo there very nice detail so if we bring in shredder a little bit closer we can look at this great head sculpt for Shredder. Definitely a nice take on it. We see the armor here. Foot logo. And he does have this soft cape here. Very nice fabric looking cape. Claps onto the back of the figure. I have this damp right there. And he does wear the He-Man style loincloth. In the future, we're all going to be wearing loincloth while we fire lasers, guns at each other. Now his head can look up and down. You see it's on a ball joint here. So left and right, no problem. His armor is attached to his straps here and they do allow for movement you just have to move them up over his chest piece here they do rotate all the way around he does have a hinge here at the elbow he does have the armor too that will prevent some of the movement from coming up so you just have to watch that as you bend his arms his wrists do have the hinge peg here for that. No ab crunch, but we do get waist swivel. As far as splits go, we have a full Von Dom. They rotate around as well. His knees do have a nice bend. He does have the boot swivel as well as the ball jointed hinge, I'm sorry, the peg hinge at his ankle. And like I said before, 
the holes are in the very back they should be a little bit better for movement but it is what it is can't change that now so as I stand him up and try to get him in a standalone pose long enough for me to grab my scale or my measure tape shredder is coming in right at six and a quarter so he will be beefier than a Marvel Legends figure and just a little bit shorter than them. Now if I bring in a NECA Toad here, we can see how they stack up together. Oop. And if I do bring in Raphael from the same line, we can see that they fit in very nice together. Now this figure is in stock at entertainmentearth.com. So if you use the code below, you can save 10% on it. So remember, as always, shop around for the best prices. Like, subscribe, and keep collecting.